Hello, I'd like to build on and add and respond to a few comments you've made at looking at the Shell PowerPoint slides. I can't overestimate the importance of PowerPoint skills are to business communications. My experience is that PowerPoint is the most common communication tool currently used. And while I don't know what the future will bring, I don't see PowerPoint disappearing in the, in the horizon. It may be supplemented by the internet-based tool of Prezi, but I can't see PowerPoint going away. First of all, someone commented that their plant manager ends the meetings with the same quote, are there any questions, comments, or emotional outbursts? I thought that was pretty clever to kind of lighten the mood. Um, on a structural side, several of you noted that these are not long-winded, long-sentenced PowerPoint slides. They're meant to be short, to the point. They remind the speaker of what they're supposed to say, but they also provide a framework to, as several of you have pointed out, keep the meeting moving in a structured manner to avoid the, as someone said, rabbit trailing off topic. However, the danger is always there based on the discussion the slides could generate. I kind of thought it was clever when someone said he all he or she always wanted to have a card with a pencil on the tape on the chair when they came in so that they could ask questions. You know, face-to-face uh, -face classes, you can say to the students, well, do you have any questions? And they just look at you. But I know in the workforce that when that question is asked, it gets a response. And I thought the comment of maybe thinking about, ah, I don't quite get that and jotting it down was pretty good. Personally, I jot that down on my iPhone. But then again, everybody thinks I'm texting instead of listening. Finally, someone commented on the agenda slide. And that is always smart. Show the agenda up front, be it on a slide or on a piece of paper something at the meeting that indicates you planned the meeting out and thought about the uh, time sequences. Generally, if you're facilitating a meeting, you cannot be a timekeeper. Too much is going on. So I always recommend having someone in the audience be the timekeeper. And I also recommend someone in the audience be the process checker to avoid long-winded rabbit trails. Well, I hope this has given you some insights based on your experience.